seeing the whiteboard from a distance was our initial problem uh, space. But now uh, we have moved to a different problem space that writing notes for taking uh, notes on a tabular device is now an uncomfortable setting. Okay, so, so like uh, for the first time what we came up with the conclusion was the problem space that we had as we said was not the problem. That was not the problem at all. And uh, the so at the first time we did we uh, basically interviewed professors and uh, what we found out was they liked the tangibility of being able to write on the board. Can you close the door, please? Uh, and also have the convenience of being able to upload that data directly online. And they did. Uh, we did have a lot of issues uh, regarding professor did not like uh, writing on the touch screen so much. So this second time around, we wanted to make sure that so earlier we introduced that we found a new problem with our previous set of interviews with the fact that writing digitally allowed the convenience of saving those notes online. So this time around we wanted to verify with more market segments that that problem was prevalent. And we also want to verify with extra different set of um, interviewees about to make sure that everything we found was correct. So for example, we wanted to interview high school teacher, uh, chemistry professor, physics professor, and also business market attendees, because we felt those would also be a, a good set of candidates to also interview. What was the last one? Business meeting attendees. Business meeting attendees, okay. So, unfortunately, the second time around, due to weather restraints this past week, um, our planned interviews um, we weren't able to complete, but that's something we're planning on doing today and tomorrow. Um, what we're hoping we can do is reach out to professors in other departments like just mentioned, such as physics and chemistry, as well as reaching out to um, high school teachers and collecting more data from the previous market segments that we had with more refined questions. Um, the questions we used this time around were a lot more quantifiable as opposed to open-ended more so. So we feel it will be easier to sort of analyze the data that we collect the second time. And this is kind of just re reiterating what was just said. Uh, we, uh, due to the storm, we missed a lot of the people that we actually wanted to get to. Uh, that was to narrow down our market segment for uh, uh, science and mathematics professors. Um, but after that, that's, uh, well not after that, but that's what we plan on doing next because we really need to get that done in order to move on and see who else we need to talk to if we need to narrow down that market segment even more or if that market segment just isn't there for that. And uh, to see if uh, we even need to change the problem space if it's not working out. And that's what we need to do next. Yeah, we're, we're hoping following these next kind of interviews, interviews that we're completing today and tomorrow that we can finalize the problem space and decide whether the market segments that we've been interviewing are viable market segments. Okay.